Hi, in this question we're given a right angle triangle and we're asked to calculate the size of the angle BAC. So my first job is to mark the angle BAC. So that's going to be, there's BAC, and it's going to be the angle between that, which is going to be there. So I'm just going to call that the angle theta. Okay, so, and I can call this anything. I could call it X if I wanted to. I can call it anything. We just tend to use the symbol theta when we're talking about an angle. Okay, so um, I'm now going to, because we're going to use trigonometry here, I'm going to start by writing Sokotoa. Sokotoa. Okay, and I'm going to label the sides. Now, there's my angle, and that side there is going to be opposite my angle, so I'm going to label this as op. Um, this here is adjacent, which we don't need, and this here is going to be my hypotenuse. I'm going to label that as hype. So the two sides that are involved here are going to be my opposite and hypotenuse, so that tells me I'm going to use my sine function. So over here, I'm going to say, well, that tells me that sine of the angle theta is going to be equal to my opposite divided by my hypotenuse so that's going to be 12 divided by 13. Okay so to work out what my angle theta is here I need to undo this sign so I need to do the inverse sign which gives me this here 12 divided by 13. So now using my calculator I can say, well, I've got the inverse sine of 12 divided by 13. And that should tell me that my angle is 67.4 degrees to one decimal place. 67.4 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, for the second part of the question, we've got another right angle triangle and we're going to find the um, side RT in this triangle. So RT is going to be this side here. So I'm just going to label that side with the letter X. And again, we're going to give our answer to one decimal place. So again, I'm going to write Sokoto at the top. Okay, so this is my angle of 53 degrees over here so this is going to be my opposite side and this here is going to be my adjacent side that's my hypotenuse which I'm not interested in so it's just opposite and adjacent which tells me I'm going to use my toa so I can say that the tan of my angle so tan of 53 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent, so that's going to be 14 divided by x. Okay, so I'm now going to solve this equation, and I've got, if I multiply both sides by x, because I've got 14 divided by x, we need to multiply by x to undo that, so that's going to give me x times tan 53 is going to be equal to 14. I'm now going to, to work out what x is, I need to divide both sides by tan 53. I'll divide tan 53 here, and divide by tan 53 over here. So that tells me that x is going to be equal to 14 divided by 10.53. Okay, so using my calculator now, I can say, well, um, 14 divided by 10.53. And that tells me that I've got a length of 10.5 centimeters to one decimal place. 
20 meters to one decimal place. So I should have written here x is equal to 10.5. Okay, uh, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.